In this video, we're going to take a look at working with faculty assignments. So I'm at the home screen. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a button on the left that says View My Assignments. So I'm going to click it, and it'll open up a calendar. Now, everything that is assigned to you by faculty in Prodigy Connect will appear on a date in the calendar. So if I look here, I'm in March. I could use this drop down to switch to February if I wanted to or use the previous and next buttons to navigate from from one month to the next. But if I look on March 11th, I see I have two assignments here, and then I have another one that appears on the 15th. So let's click the first one and see what it is. When it opens up, it says Basic Sciences Blueprint. And if you notice, the Load Blueprint button is enabled right here in the toolbar. There's also a note from a faculty member that says Complete each weekly quiz by the following Monday. So just like you can create your own blueprint in Prodigy Connect, faculty can create customized blueprints and assign them to students through the calendar. So I'm going to click Load Blueprint to load this one into my system. So it says, it may take a moment, would I like to begin? Yes. And now it says, your study plan has been created. So I'm going to click OK. And to view it, I'm going to go back to Home and View My Blueprints. And here's a blueprint that I created myself, and here's the one basic sciences blueprint that the faculty created. So as you see, I can switch from week to week, and at the bottom of each one, there's a summary quiz. So the faculty made a note that said, I'm supposed to complete each quiz by the following Monday. So for the week of March 25th to March uh, 31st, I would complete that blueprint and then complete the quiz after I've studied the material. So you can access the material simply by clicking it. You can watch the video or read the article or whatever materials uh, they've assigned and then there will be a quiz that comes just from the materials from that week. Alright, so let's click home again and we're going to go back to view my assignments and see what else we had. So also on March 11th was SIM exam 1. So if I click that one now you'll see that the, the Start Exam button is enabled, and it says that this exam must be completed by March 13th. So whenever I'm ready to start this exam, I just click the Start Exam button, and you'll notice that you're locked out of the Prodigy Library so that you can't cheat on the exam. But there's another big difference between faculty-assigned exams and simulation exams that you just start on your own, and that is saving. When you open up a simulation exam just for practice on your own, you have to save that exam yourself if you want to. On a faculty assigned exam, once you start it, it begins the saving process automatically and every time you click next to go to the next question, it saves where you are in the exam and your results. So let's say that the power went out and my computer shut down in the middle of a faculty assigned exam. That's no problem. I can go to any other computer, log back in, open up this exam and click start exam again and it'll say you are starting an exam that appears to have crashed. Would you like to resume? You click yes and you'll pick up where you left off. All right, so I'm going to close this one and I'll show you one other thing that you may encounter with faculty assigned exams. This one that appears on March 15th that says Basic Sciences Quiz. It says complete this exam by March 18th. And if I click Start Exam, I'll get a, a, a message that says this exam is not available now. So faculty can enable a window of opportunity for an exam that this exam can't be started until the 15th and the access to this exam ends on March 19th. So once we pass March 19th, then I won't be able to start this exam. So if your faculty tell you that you need to complete an exam within a certain window of time, you'll definitely need to do that. 